I'm out of coffee by now, but let's just do it for the record. Adam Daniel Mazay, oh yes, your PMD for hire.com. I help independent filmmakers and documentarians engage their audiences and such and stuff. And I work with filmmakers because that's just how I roll. You can't really call yourself an independent filmmaker if you don't watch movies. Like, you can't just make movies. You gotta watch movies, too. You gotta watch all kinds of movies. Big movies, small movies, big budgeted movies, small budgeted movies, major studios, mini majors, independent films, foreign films, documentaries, whatever, shorts. You gotta watch movies. You can't really hone your craft and say that you're a master of the independent film craft if you don't watch movies. So that's what I do, and I've been doing that, like, consistently for years. But basically... In the last little while, I've been catching a lot of foreign films, Serbian films and Danish films in particular, because I find that those two countries really produce some hard-hitting shit, like in a big, bad, major way. Three films that I've been watching over the last little while, in fact four, let's name them all. So I started with Idemo Dalje, Idemo Dalje, or in the Czechoslovak ethnic language, Ideme Dale, which means let's go, let's move forward, onward, you know, onward Christian soldiers, whatever. It's a great little film from 1982, Yugoslavian film, big film mecca, by the way, third largest standing army in the world, when Tito, it's not Tito, by the way, it's Tito, Tito is Michael Jackson's brother, Tito is Marshal Jose Broz, Tito is the Marshal of Yugoslavia, please watch your language, Americans, and Tito used to make film kind of one of his centerpieces of his... I guess we'll call it his global realpolitik, his kind of promotional style. Idemo Dalia is a picture about um, a teacher who returns from the battlefront, from the front against the Nazis, and he takes up a post as a rural school teacher in some little village, I guess, whatever, in Serbia somewhere, in Yugoslavia. Great little picture. I like to watch old films from the 80s. I'm a child of the 80s, but I also like to watch films from the 80s because you get to see what the production values were like in the 80s. Idemo Dalje, E-D-E-M-O, next word, D-A-L-J-E, Idemo Dalje. Go check it out. You can see it on YouTube, among other places. Another film that I watched was The Hornet, or in Serbian you'd call it Štrštljen, I think is how you say it. S-T-R-S-L-J-E-N. Another great picture about what it's like actually dealing in Kosovo if you're a Serbian, for example, and all of the unrest that's taking place in Kosovo and what it's like being an Albanian in Serbia and what all of the different tensions are like being a Muslim in a primarily orthodox country. And if you really want to understand the Serbian and Albanian, well, mostly the Serbian mindsets, check out this picture. Great picture with some really good actors. There were some kick-ass actors in Serbia who have now moved on to greener pastures in the United States, in other film markets, primarily in LA, that are doing some really kick-ass films. For example, I believe the actor's name is Sergei Trionovic, Trifunovic, who's from Bosnia Herzegovina, and I think he's from Sarajevo, um, pure Serb. And you can watch this movie and be amazed at the acting of some of these players and what they're capable of doing with their voice and body instruments. Another film that I saw was Flame and Citron, or as you say in Danish, Flame and Citron. Let's try it Danish style. Flame and Citron. Flame and Citron. Don't say the R and don't say the N. You know, as many syllables as you can gobble up. Flame and Citron about... I love period pieces. I love war movies. Things that were taking place in Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Copenhagen gotta do it like a Dane. Cut Hammon. Like, gobble all your words. Swallow it. Don't say anything. Copenhagen, Cl Flame and Citroen, all of the underground activities that were taking place and trying to knock out, you know, suspected collaborators of the regime, Nazis and what have you. Great picture with Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen, who played a bad guy in the Daniel Craig. I think it was in Daniel Craig, James Bond. I think it was in Quantum of Solace. He played one of the bad guys. Fabulous. Great movie. From 2008, Flame and Citroen. Caught it on Netflix. Two hours and a half kick ass. The Danes really know how to make period pieces. The Danes really know how to shoot films, and so do the Serbs, by the way. Lovely stuff. And, of course, I had to watch all of the, well, all of the old Nicholas Winding Refn, the Nicholas Winding Refn movies, the Pusher series, 
as I build up for, you know, watching the Ryan Gosling drive. So that's what I've been doing, I mean, watching independent films and spending the better part of my evenings getting into independent cinema writ large. If you want to be an independent filmmaker, you have to watch independent films. You can't call yourself an independent filmmaker if you don't watch movies. If I ask you in a meeting, have you seen X, Y, and Z, and you haven't, you just lose a bunch of credibility. Moreover, how can you really know what's hot and what's cutting edge and what's going on in the community if you don't watch it? All right, enough from me. I said too much with my big mouth all day long. You asked for it. The video blogs are back, and I'm going to be coming back to you in a rat tat 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 style over the next few days. Video blogging style, ADM style, TO style, too much style, and not enough substance. Wishing you and yours and every little person in your little microcosmos the very best of things. And don't forget to go here, like, retweet, add me to your circles. Just do it. Just go over there and add me, please. Because that's how you're supposed to do these things. It's called social media, I think. Take care. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.